Uh, it's so default on the menu screen, the uh, title screen. <laughs> it's so default. Like I say, when I looked at the screenshots of it, generic. I know, right, Spooks? But it, I'm telling you, it has it has a lot of votes on the website. You can check it out yourself. It's got a lot of votes, so I don't know. This is why I decided to play it because I thought <laughs> I am the mighty hunting spawn, Indra. I am the uh, mighty hunting spawn. You must obey me. You must. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. And you don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. Um, new game. Please be good. Is this now? What? Where am I? This is Cass, the protagonist of this tale. Who's there? What was that voice? Do you want Cass to be a boy or a girl? I like boys. <laughs> Let's go for a boy. You have chosen boys, that's correct, yes. Wow, sudden sprite change. I can and I have. Get over it, mister. Get over it. You're not even that hot, though. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. Hey, Malazane, how's it going? Probably voted uh, for by bots. It's a possibility, Malazane. It's, it's a possibility. Get ready to enter Cass's world. Don't worry, Cass won't remember any of this. Amnesiac, bitch. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. The graphics. What a nice day to go for a walk around the village. Hmm, that's strange. I know the village is small, but where are the children playing or the men? Oh um, what? Men drinking? Is this like a boozy village? Oh no. This could be unpleasant. I should probably check in with Gramps. It <laughs> trapped main character, I know. Oh. The mapping. <laughs> The mapping. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's it's not terrible, but it's very um, featureless and uh, just a bit bland, you know. I don't know. The man stares at you blankly. Sir, are you alright? The man doesn't respond. Oh, alrighty. So, also. Listen, I've got a big thing about openings in games, intros to games. The intro of this, like, and now I'm wandering around, excuse me, I'm wandering around this village with no context, no setting, no goal, no, like, motivation. Like, this is a pretty bad opening. You've got to give your player more to, to hook on to. Like, there's nothing, there was nothing happening here, so... Like, you can't just assume, you can't assume that every player is going to automatically care. Like, most players, I think, don't go into games caring. You've got to make them care. So, you know. The stream only started to screw up for you when I started playing this. Ah, oh, it's a curse. It's a curse. Oh, God. I hope not, Spooks. It's an omen. All oh, you guys are having trouble with the stream? Shitballs. Welcome back, my Gaston. Welcome back. Oh, I don't know about this game. Why do the these NPCs have like red demonic eyes? Are they like possessed or whatever? Stares at you blankly. Yeah, I think they must be possessed. By Satan. Oh no. Satanic rituals. And kinky sex. No! <gasps> Lewd. Is this a shed? Is this a sex shed? What's going on here? It's Jersey, you blankly. Gotta be corruption. <gasps> Please, internet. Yo, that house. Is this another troll? I don't... I don't know, Indra. Slightly getting a troll troll feeling from this. Slightly. Oh my good god. Oh my good god. Oh. What the actual... What the actual F is this map? All oh, This isn't even a map. This is barely... This is barely anything. It's... What is this? This is crazy. This is nuts. How can you make how can you make maps like this and think, 
oh yeah, I'm going to enter the indie game maker contest with this level of environments. I'm going to enter my game. I know I'm being very harsh and stuff, like, but as I said, I made a game, so I kind of feel like I have the right to comment because I I put a hell of a lot of work, and I I'm not the most natural ma mapper around. Like for me, mapping doesn't come easily. It takes me a lot of work, so you know I tried to make at least passable maps for my game. So to see these kind of environments, which have got no effort put into them at all, you know I think it's kind of annoying. But like. I just don't, there's nothing here. There's literally no furniture. There's nothing. It's crazy. Come by the, what, that's not a counter, that's a wall. <laughs> no, that's not a counter. That's a one tile high wall. I can't even really see you through that wall. It's not a counter. You can't pass me anything over there because it's a wall. Bitch. Ah, oh, whatever. Welcome to our weapons shop. You care to look at our wares? Yeah. What have you got for sale? A sword and a dagger. I've got no money. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're probably right, Megastum. All things considered, it's better than the last game. Oh, Spooks, you crack me up sometimes, Spooks. You do crack me up, Spooks. It's good to see you, Spooks. Talk to the walls, bitch. I know. Right? An X-ray vision. An X-ray vision. I'm gonna perv on all the NPCs. And look at their private parts. What's this now? This town's a little creepy. It's a little boring. <laughs> Business is to be done. I'm a traveling merchant, and as you can see, I'm human. Alright, okay. Are there other races and beings in this game? I haven't seen any. You can be an executioner focusing on dealing damage or a guardian focusing on taking damage. Okay, difference between life and death. Alright, okay, so it's a save point. Can't buy anything, so it's a waste of time. Next stranger. Stranger. What are you buying, stranger? That's a Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4 reference for you guys. Uh, if Saiyan is still here, he'll know that because of Aris, often streams Resident Evil 4, and there's a merchant in that game that's like, what are you buying, stranger? He's Australian. Don't mind my terrible Australian accent. Yes. Save that. The chat has slowed down. I don't mind, Spooky. I like to interact with you guys a lot, so I, I don't mind. A slow chat. It's not a problem. And sometimes people just like to lurk and watch and not chat, and that's fine. That's fine. What are you selling? What are you buying? God. Oh, there's fights. Okay. Merman emerged. Fight. Have I got skills? Executioner. Focus, can't use it. Oh my god, these enemies are hitting really hard. I'm gonna die on this ship before I even know what the game is about. <laughs> Escape! I'm gonna die. Oh no! Wow! 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 Are you for real? Just. Just, just, just wow. Just wow. So that was a quick, <laughs> that was a quick game, huh? Yeah, I, you know, I think on reflection, I think what I'm gathering from this is that it was a troll game. You know, it was just a game that was entered to try and make fun of the process, you know. They tried to make a really bad game. I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I'm assuming. I can't imagine that anyone with half a brain would make a game like this and think that it was a good game. So I'm assuming that it was a troll game just to waste people's time, you know, people thinking they're ironic and whatever, but yeah. So you know what? Out of five signets, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to give it one tiny baby fluffy swan. 
I'm not going to even give it one because I don't think it's a legitimate game and therefore I don't think I should even be rating it. I know, right? The disrespect from Swan. I'm getting harsh now. I'm getting harsh, but uh, no. There's nothing. There was no story. There was no, you know, that gameplay thing was terribly unbalanced. The mapping was terrible. The music was default. No, I can't. I can't justify. I can't give it one of my baby swans. They're precious. So, yeah, next game. Next game. Next game.